Last week, I created this video here where I showed you guys how I set all my cue points automatically in Rekordbox. In the comments of that video, a lot of people said they wanted me to do it in Serato. So with the help of this guy here, I've done it. So I needed to be able to do the following things in the script. Load the track onto deck one, set the first cue point, jump four bars, set the second cue point, jump four bars again, set the third cue point, press down, select the next track, and then repeat the process again. But there's a few things you need to have in place just before you run the script. All tracks need to be analyzed. Cue up here must be clicked and I'll explain why later. The crate with the tracks with no cue points must be selected. The first track in the crate must be selected and the beat jump controls must be set correctly to jump four bars or 16 beats. So like in the previous video, we're gonna use Apple scripts. The first two lines of code we're gonna need are these. This will open up Serato DJ Pro, and this will give us a pop-up asking how many tracks we wanna queue. The next thing we need to do in this script is load the track onto deck one. In our script, we need to enter this. Key code 123 using command down. So key code 123 is left on the keyboard according to the Apple scripts documentation online. In Serato DJ Pro, left on command is the keyboard shortcut for loading the track onto deck one. Now the track is loaded, have a look here. It doesn't load on the first beat. So if I was to set a cue point here, it would be placed in the wrong place, then the rest of the cue points would be set in the wrong place. This is where the cue button comes into place. This is the quantize button in Serato DJ Pro. This will always set a cue point on an actual bar so if I turn this on, click the cue point here, it will jump to the nearest beat. So now with this on, we can set the first cue point with key code 18, which is number one on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for setting Q1 in Serato. Next, we need to jump four bars to set the next cue point, but this is where I face the problem. In record box, you can use the keyboard to jump four bars, but in Serato DJ Pro, there's no keyboard shortcut. All we have here are the beat jump controls. But in order for me to use the beat jump controls, I needed to move my mouse and click the forward beat jump so it would jump the four bars. Me doing this means the program wouldn't be automatic, so I needed to find a way to automate this. I searched on Google how to click using Apple scripts and I came across this guy called Luke. One part of his video says that his script moves his mouse to click on certain things. So after I watched the video, I had to do the following things. Download this Apple script that he created himself and downloaded a package called CLI Click. So the Apple script that I downloaded from him was actually really smart. Basically, if I place my mouse where I want to click on the screen, run the script, it will ask me for the name of the coordinate marker. If I type in here beat jump, it will go to my code and give me the coordinates of where the mouse was and write the code out for me. So I went to Serato, put my mouse over the forward beat jump button, ran his program, named the coordinate beat jump forward, and it wrote out the code for me in my script. After I'd done that, I needed to set Q.2 with key code 19, which is number two on the keyboard. Next, I was able to copy the mouse clicking code again, so it jumped another four bars. Then I was able to click key code 20, which is number three on the keyboard, which is Q.3 in Serato. After this, we just needed to press down on the keyboard, which is key code 125, so that I can get ready to do the same cue point process on the next tracks. In order to do it on the next tracks, we need to find a way to repeat the process over and over. So at the start, you saw that I created a pop-up saying, how many tracks do you want to cue? When you enter the number here and click OK, it stores that value into this, my variable. With this, I can create this repeat block. Basically, anything inside this code block will repeat however many times I tell it to when the pop-up comes up. So now this code is inside this repeat block. If I run the script, it will give me a pop-up. I'm gonna type in three in here. You can see that the script selects the first three tracks and cue points them all. If you want me to release a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to create this entire script, type do it in the comments down below and like this video. Let's try and get 100 likes on this video. Now that you've watched this video, go check out this video here where I show you how I organize all my crates in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next video.